Good evening, everyone. Another dry day down here in uh, Exeter in Devon. It's cold though, but um, hopefully the warmth of my Joe is going to uh, keep me warm tonight. Uh, but yeah, so um, lucky I've got my shelter for my uh, my red ceramics, so that's all good. Um, yeah, so those of you who haven't joined me before, um, I'm Sue, Sue Stoneman, and um, I live in Devon. I'm a home cook, but I love to cook outside on my um, barbecues. My Kamado Joes are my favourite. Uh, so tonight I'm going to be cooking some fajitas and flatbreads. Um, not really a recipe as such for the fajitas. Um... But um, I'll just open up the lid and show you what I've got going on inside. Nothing cooking yet. Um, I'm going to be doing the fajitas on this side of the grill. So I'm using the um, cast iron reversible um, plate. And my flatbreads I'm going to be doing on this side. So it direct cooking. Um, I might do the flatbreads first just because I don't want to juggle both at the same time. So um, that's what I'm going to be cooking this evening. Anybody joining us? Roberto Stevens says good evening both. Good evening Roberto. Nice bit of pork you had earlier. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, let you know I've got a, a stand in camera person tonight um my normal cameraman my son ashley he's got an exam to do today so um i've had a visit from mr s and oh. uh he has to social distance still at the moment so he's two meters away from me and um it's just easy if i've got another pair of hands to um do the camera work so um Nice to see you, Mr. S, tonight. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, we've got eight people joined us so far. Okay. Hi, everyone. Right, so um, I have put the recipe for the flatbreads um, up in the file section on the, um, on the group. Um, and what I've done and what I always do when I do my flatbreads is roll them out beforehand and lay them up between bits of um, parchment paper. And then what that means is they're ready to cook all at the same time when you haven't got to roll them out between each each cook. So, um, so what I'll do is I'll just bring them over here. Christine Dale is there. Christine, hello. And remembers you from them. Um, Meeting you at Grillstock, Christine. So uh, I do. Yeah. Nice to see you, Christine. So, um, yeah, so, Roberto um, Stevens has asked, "What's the tipple tonight?" The tipple, Roberto, tonight. is a local brew. Um, some otter ale. Otter ale. So. Uh, some of Otter Brewery's finest. Cheers, everyone. See, I drink anything, really. <laughs> Um, but yes, yeah, so some beer tonight. <laughs> uh, right, so it's getting nice and hot. Um, probably a little bit hot for my flatbreads, but that's okay. Marcus says, hey Sue. Hi Marcus, nice to see you. Uh, mm, lovely, says Roberto. Yeah. Yes, we are fortunate where we live in Devon. Uh, I have an access now. <laughs> to our, our lovely larder and I've been supporting all our local producers and suppliers during lockdown. So um yeah so first of all um just to stop the flatbread sticking you just want to oil the grill okay oil of choice um oil of choice um just some vegetable oil rapeseed oil or um light olive oil Sue Roberts on camera. Hi on, uh, Sue. Online. And Julie Corcutt. Julie. Julie! 
Right, so what you do is just place them on there like that. And then I'm going to close the lid because that's getting a bit hot. You want the actual dough to cook as well as brown. And then in a minute, we'll hopefully see some, some famous bubble action. Marcus says, loving the vids. You're a Aww, star. Thanks, Marcus. Come out at night. <laughs> Marcus Den says, watch it bubble. Oh. oh, here we go. Okay, so we'll leave the lid open for now. So when I, when I made flatbreads the other night, actually, oh, last night, last night I did um, some hanger steak on the on the junior and I, I couldn't work out why the, the dough was a bit stiff. I forgot to add the, um, the olive oil in. <laughs> So, uh, but they still bubbled up, um, so the olive oil is in tonight, or the rapeseed oil. So you want, you should get some bubble action like this. Whoa, see, it's exciting. Mm. So that's why you want to roll them out ready. Got a message from Chris Treby, who says evening both, and Sue Roberts says evening, Sue. Hi, Sue. Looking good. Loving your garden pictures. Yeah. Marcus says we've been on Exmouth Beach today, picked up a live crab. Right, so I'm going to turn that over and then what you do is you do all your flatbreads Oh, Dan, and... Dan Parkins watching Hi Dan! And, and then put them in a clean tea towel and then wrap them all up and they'll keep warm or you can wrap them in some tin foil and just warm them up afterwards Got a bit of flame there, I'm just going to close it just because I don't want to... You want the dough to cook and not just brown so it's a bit of just up and down in. Mm. So by having the lid closed, you'll just dampen the flames a little bit. Up to 20 are watching at the minute. So I clashed with Boris the other day when I cooked. Mm. <laughs> Fight! <laughs> so I, I like these little gnarly bits, so don't worry if there is any um, caramelisation because they they taste they taste really nice. Mm, they do. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to put that one in the tea towel like that. Uh, and I'm going to put another one on. Oh, here. So yeah, so a few more flames. Actually, I'm going to just close that bottom vent up a little bit, so perhaps we won't get so much flame action there. I close the lid. So while I've got the lid closed, I just want to know the ingredients I've got for these heaters. So I've got some chicken breast sliced quite thinly. Some red onion, lots of nice different colours of peppers. Um, this is my own fajita mix. I say fajita. Um, I've got in here some smoked paprika, some ground coriander, some ground cumin. Um, you can add Tabasco sauce. Um, actually, you can add whatever you like. Um, you can buy packet mixes. You can buy rubs um it's really a good way of using whatever you've got in your um Whoa. smells burnt oh nearly okay you can really use whatever you've got in your cupboards um and then i've got some finely chopped red chili some garlic and i've made a guacamole mm. now there was a little bit of a conversation going on earlier i think it was with greg and chris there is lime juice in the guacamole, so it hasn't discoloured. But yes, um, when you're using guacamole, you need it needs the acidity to stop it from going brown. If you haven't got lime juice, lemon juice will be okay. But I think proper guacamole has got lime juice in it. Marcus says he's enjoying a Chris Sauvignon Blanc. <gasps> Christine says it's nice to see a way of dampening down the flames. Yeah, so if there's no oxygen coming in from the bottom, 
that's fueling the fire so I, I could I, so I'm going to close it off actually because I don't want flames Chris Treby says can you tell me if you would buy a cast iron griddle or a soapstone if you could only buy one personally the cast iron griddle yeah. myself um, just because I think this does a similar job to the soapstone and um, I don't know. Different I've things for different ones, aren't they? Hmm? Different things for different uh, yeah, cooks, really. Yeah, I know really. Bill uses the soapstone for fish. Who's that? Bill. Bill Gardner. Bill Gardner. <laughs> oh, well, I met him. Uh, no, uh, Jeanette Harvey says, evening Sue, raising a glass of red to you. So um, I'll do another flat red and then I'll start making the um, heater mix. Remember you should burp, burp the lid and it's very easy to forget. That's burping is where yeah, you that might, um, where you open and just... My open hair's it, getting it? longer so I'm just experimenting with different things at the minute. So maybe if I forget to burp it, it might sort my hair out <laughs> or not. Burping's the yeah. So, so when you're cooking on high temperatures, you must lift the lid up and down a few times just to release that pressure of hot air. Or oh, there's the film backdraft; it goes whoosh. <laughs> Nobody wants that. So we've got some uh, nice bubbles coming up there. So if you want more of a, um, a naan or a pit of bread, I think you need to add a bit of yoghurt or buttermilk in your mix. It just makes the dough a little bit different. But even with some of these, because you've got the bubbles, while they're still warm, you can cut into them and open them up like a pitta. Hmm. So, Marcus says, you're giving those tongs a proper testing. Clickety click. <laughs> It's nervous, Marcus, because I'm quite nervous. Okay, so I'm going to turn that one over. I meant to clip them at least three times. <laughs> or spin them in your finger, like mm. Eric does. Oh, does he? I don't know if I can do uh, that. Jeanette Harvey says, I'm experimenting with different things too this evening. I know the feeling. So I'll just do this flatbread and then I'll do the fajitas. It's going to be quite nice. I think it might get a nice sunset. Yeah, it's beautiful up there. You can just pan around the garden if you like. There we go. That's the sunny sky. Well, just behind the cloud, but it's just sunny up over there. In the distance, a long way off, is just the River of Exmouth. And the River X. Around the garden. Happy days. Okay. Right, so I'm going to take that flat red off. That one's okay. I'll do the rest later and they're going to keep nice and warm in that clean tea towel. I'll just put them on the top there and just close the lid. Christine wonders as if you've singed any eyebrows recently. No, not recently. <laughs> I should have had my cap on really. <laughs> right, so um, to do the flatbreads, oh, we'll keep it open, <laughs> up and down. Um, so you need to oil your cast iron griddle and you'll see now that it's on a bit of a slope. <laughs> so I'm going to add a few onions. So I'm not going to do it all, I'm just going to do bits really. Um, Chris says you're a legend. Add in some peppers. Nobody's mentioned the uh, the amazing. Oh, the slippers, slippers are on tonight. They're on. Slippers are out. Okay. Oh, it's quite hot. I need to use my glove. Bit of chicken. Just a little bit. Whew, it's hot. 
Has anybody seen the, the new stand for the Joe? Oh, yes. <laughs> Mr. Russ's carpentry skills. Well, he helped me just reinforce my um, wooden wooden thing I made earlier. Ooh. Good store. Right. <laughs> Roberto says, you need some Kamado sponsored slippers. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's looking nicely. And to add some spices to that now, so a bit of salt. So I'm just doing a little bit now. Some pepper. Garlic. chili like it hot add a bit more if you like it hot this is some of my um season mix that i've made myself i say you can just use whatever you've got in the cupboard it won't take long to cook I've seen a lot of people use their metal tongs when they're using their uh, cast iron griddle, but you should really use wooden wooden utensils on it so you don't scratch it. Jeanette was asking, is it fresh chilli, Sue? Yes, it is fresh chilli. This is... A really quick supper, really. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of um, lime juice on there. Jeanette likes the sound of the sizzle. Mm. Did you do it in a cast iron wok last Chris? Yes, you could do it in a wok or a pan. The cast iron is good because it retains the heat better, distributes it a bit more evenly, and um, yes, the thicker the better really, the heavier for this temperature. So we'll just give that a stir. I, I like using the um, half moon griddle when I do a breakfast, because you can cook your sausages and your bacon, then you can crack your eggs, and I do my drop crumpets on the cast iron griddle. I'm just going to come around this side because that arm is getting a bit hot. I don't have my thermo pen but uh, with me. It's one thing I've forgotten to bring out tonight but uh, that chicken I know is going to be cooked. Just give it a little bit longer. You don't want your fajita mix to be too wet otherwise it's going to make your flatbread soggy. Okay. I could just run away and get my thermopane just to make sure my chicken's cooked. Okay. Well, I've got to tell everybody that the smell I'm just going to get is my pretty amazing. Um, you can see the coals down below there. Nice and gently glowing, just a little bit of flame looking, but that's probably adding to the, the, the heat in behind the plate, which is probably just the right amount. And it is like having a walk as well. Oh, that's done. Well, good stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take it off and put it into a, into a bowl. This is where I'll probably lose half of it. Mm. Mm. Smells good. <laughs> Smells really good. Okay. 
Right, then what I'll do, I'm going to close it down just to, uh, whew, just so it doesn't get too hot and then I can finish it off later on. Right, so what we can do now, we can assemble, assemble a fajita. So you could use beef, you could use turkey, breast, you can use anything you want really. So my flatbreads are still nice and warm because they're nice and soft. So put that on there. Bring over my um, chicken. So, so pop that in. That way make a nice long one. And what's good about doing this sort of supper, once you've done all the preparation, there is hardly any washing up to do afterwards, which I like. Okay, you could add some um, salad, which is really good. Um, and you can add any toppings of your choice, any um, favourite condiments. I say I've made some guacamole, so I'm going to use put some of that on the top. Could you put in some um, yogurt or some flavour? Yeah, yogurt. Yeah. If it's a bit hot, perhaps to cool it down. Mayonnaise. Mm. Bit of garlic mayo. Oh. There's some garlic in the guacamole and some fresh chilli. And then you can just sprinkle it with some spring onion. Do a little chefy bit. And a little squeeze of lime just to bring out the flavours. Okay. Now there's nothing elegant about eating a fajita. So mm. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can do this. So anyway. Well, I know somebody who's holding a camera that can. Mm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tuck in. You need to try and make sure you've got a bit of everything in that first bite. So I'm going to go in this end, okay? Ready? Mmm. 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 says, do you deliver to Harrogate? Mm. It might take a little while. That's so yeah. good I'm going in for another bite. Second. Mmm. Mm. Mm, lots of love hearts coming flying down mm. the screen. Mm. Wow. Wow. Well, that, guys, is amazing. Mm -hmm. If only you could smell it and taste it. Yeah. <laughs> Simon McHenry says, well, I can wait. <laughs> mm. Any questions, mm. anybody? You could do it on your junior, no problem. Um, but, yeah. What I'll do is I'll post up um, some more pictures later. Bill Gardner says, check your fingers, Sue. Still there. Oh, <laughs> mm, well. Says Christine. Good so, job. Yes. Well done, says Chris. Oh. So, yeah, OK. So, um, have a good evening, folks. Um, and maybe see you again next Wednesday. Have a good week. Bye.